What's going on guys? Thanks for coming back to check out another video. Today we are chasing the green with Chase My Cards. We're trying to catch Zion Williamson, Trey Young, or Shea Gilgis Alexander green prism rookie cards. So if you guys haven't heard about Chase My Cards, go to Instagram. The link will be in the description. Definitely check Dan out. He has some of the best chases that I have participated in out of eBay, Instagram, wherever. You can't go wrong with these. And they sell out super fast. In fact, these Chase My Cards are the only notification, post notifications I have on for Instagram. Because as soon as he posts it, I need to go on there and buy the chases or they're gone. So, so that's a tip. If you haven't been able to get them and every time you check them out, they're sold out, turn on those post notifications on Instagram and you can definitely get these. So we're chasing Zion, Trey, and, and Shay. He had 160 total packs. Each pack was 14 shipped. I picked up two of them. There's six cards in each pack, two green vets, 1819, two green vets, 1920, I'm assuming all prism, and then one base 1819 rookie and another base 1920 rookie card. And then he's gone ahead and randomly inserted green rookie cards as well as other goodies. So I'm not sure what those are, but I'm excited to get in and see what this is. The mail has been a little bit slow. There's another one on the way as well, so look out for that. But this one is chasing the greens. So if if you're if you're into watching all of the Chase My Card, you know, videos on YouTube, this one is titled Chase the Greens. And in the background, we've got our Luka Doncic Prism Base 1819 rookie card. Next to him, we have a 1920 Catino Mobley Auto numbered out of 99. Noir from this year. On the ends, we've got our emergent rookie cards for Trey Young and Zion Williamson. And guys, emergents are still very, very cheap, very, very affordable. So if you want a Luca rookie, Trey rookie, Zion rookie without breaking the bank, that's my suggestion is that's the way to go. They're prism, they're nice. Um, there's nice parallels, there's greens, there's silvers, there's hollows. There's all that good stuff. I've been picking up Aiton Hollows and Aiton Greens recently in the Emergent. Um, they look like that since he's the same year as Trey Young. And this one right here is a Revolution Jarrett Culver rookie card. He's the better out of the two rookies on the T-Wolves. There's Jalen Noel as well. You've seen me pull some of his cards. Um, Revolution cards look great. So if you're looking for, you know, long shot rookies or anyone, you know, even if it's a second year Luca card, the Revolution card is really um, something that I would recommend because they look extremely nice. You can see it's shining better than all those cards out there in the background. So let's get into this. And guys, I hope for some good luck. I haven't had too much luck with chase my cards but the odds on his chases are good so you're always going to get something near to the value you pay even if you don't get the big hits and if you if you kind of look at his past chases and do the math you'll see that you know the the margins are not that high and his packaging is excellent his communication is excellent everything is smooth you know very very fun chases in my opinion i usually only do his and whale of a pool i've tried a few ebay ones i know you guys have have seen those videos and you know nothing too exciting but just look how great this looks it's a high-end product for 14 dollars. it's fun and you can get big hits so let's just start with this one since we pulled that one out first so he has a little bit of tape here. I love these, these cardboard inserts that he does. Look at that. He used to be called Chase My Comics, but he's been doing a lot of cards lately. And so that's what we're doing. 
and on the back. So definitely not skimping on supplies. Great packaging, everything sleeved, put into this large top loader. And I will move these aside. All right, Dan, hope there's some fire in here. All right, Nikola Mirotic. Green, and as you can see, the greens have that hollow look to them for all the prisms. So this is a 1819 veteran. As you can see, it's the same kind of look as the Luca. So Miritic is our vet. Quinn Cook is our second vet. I don't know if this is a rookie. Yes, it is. Let's see who it is. Vincent Edwards. Let me focus that a little better for you guys. Nothing too exciting, but we have one more rookie coming up. Terrence Mann. So again, not a huge hit on the rookies, but that's okay. Malik Beasley, Eric Gordon. So not bad, these green vets are nice. So I wouldn't call it a loss, but definitely not the rookies we were looking for. But that's why I got two. I think out of these, out of the vets, probably like Meritich the best, but I do like the Rockets, so Eric Gordon's not bad. Chase my cards. Check him out on Instagram. Highly recommended. Highly, highly recommended. Keep this back here. Bobby Portis. My guy, I picked up a, a Bobby Portis auto. I don't, I'm not sure if it's a rookie or not, I can't remember. But he's one of those guys who his per minute averages are very, very, very good. So if you look at his 36, um, stat, 36 minute stat averages, they're very good. So he's one of those guys where if he gets more minutes, he should get more stats, which will you know, increase his popularity and hopefully his card value. So I'm a big Bobby Portis fan. Petrovic. Svi Mihailuk. This guy, if you, you may have seen in some of the other videos, I picked up a rookie patch of his. I'm not sure if it's right here somewhere. Mm, I don't see it. But yeah, I don't see it. But yeah, so I'm a big fan of his and I'm happy to have this rookie card because I don't have a lot of rookie cards of his except for that one patch. So, so thanks, Dan. Happy with that one. Justin James. So in the last chase, we had a color rookie, Justin James. So He's, he's like my Tremont for Pac-Man with these, with these chases. We're getting a lot of Justin James, so maybe if he pans out, you know, he'll do well. I don't know much about him, so we'll put him here with our rookies. Marc Gasol. I was just going through my cards, and I saw I have a silver one exactly like this, so cool to have a green, I guess. Joe Harris. Big Joe Harris fan. Three-point specialist. I have a feeling he's going to get a lot of opportunity in the playoffs this year because a lot of players are out. Dinwiddie's out, Kyrie's out, Durant's out, DeAndre Jordan's out. I think there's another, a couple of other guys that are out. So a lot of these um, newly signed two-way guys are going to get opportunity. Karis LeVert is going to get tons of opportunity. And, and so is Joe Harris. And, 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 you know, some of the, the big men down low, I think um, uh, Jared Allen, those kinds of guys. But Joe Harris, he's one of the, the main, main shooters on the team. So he's going to get a lot of opportunity if Karis LeVert can just, you know, drive and dish, drive and dish. We can see Joe Harris getting, you know, five, six, three-pointers a game. So out of the vets, a lot of green. Really like it. You know, there's no, there's no low-end trash cards in any of these, which is good, even though we didn't get the big rookies that we wanted. But we did get these guys. So Justin James, Terrence Mann, 
Vincent Edwards, and my guy, Svi Mihailuk. Fun player to watch. He's on Detroit now, and he's had a good season. He's getting better, he's getting more opportunity, and that Detroit team is gonna need to trade some of the veterans and get those, you know, get the younger guys some run. So he's he's a good guy. Check him out. Check out his stats. So thanks for watching, guys. Short video, only two packs. But I'll leave you with that. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.